Are you experiencing health problems, anxiety, high blood pressure maybe? What if I told you that gardening is excellent for your health? It is a relaxing hobby that is generally accessible to anyone who has an interest in it. And the best part, it's inexpensive. There's no need to spend money on expensive gym memberships or fitness gear. Your gym is the great outdoors where you can get your body moving while enjoying a breath of fresh air. Hi, how are you? We hope you're having a great day. Welcome to Scope Care, where we talk about health tips and other information to make your lifestyle better, healthier, and happier. Before that, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell. This way, you'll get updated about our future uploads. It would also be nice if you could give this video a like and share it with your friends. Apart from the fact that it's an enjoyable pastime that also gives you an abundance of fresh food, gardening has many other advantages as well. It can help you maintain a healthy heart by lowering your blood pressure. And in this video, we're going to find out how. It's a stressful world out there, and sometimes it's tough to carve out time for yourself in order to unwind and get away from the problems of everyday life. But why go to extravagant resorts or travel halfway around the world when you have a garden in your backyard? When you take a break from your daily routine and spend time with nature, you will find tranquility and relaxation. Working in the garden is also an excellent form of exercise that does not require you to buy one of those gym memberships. And since your garden will produce a profusion of delectable fruits and veggies, you will have a greater variety of healthy eating options accessible to you. Now, let's talk about how gardening can reduce your blood pressure. First, it gets your mind off of things that stress you out. Your garden can be a wonderful stress-relieving environment. This might be because gardening is something that many people like doing. And when you start doing what you love, you don't work a day in your life. Or at least, that's how the saying goes. Another reason why gardening is a stress-relieving activity is because it demands physical effort on your part. Participating in physically demanding hobbies such as gardening might help to alleviate tension and frustration. You will also discover that just spending time amidst the splendor of nature may help to reduce your stress levels. If you are unable to exert significant physical exertion, try taking a stroll in the garden or relaxing outdoors among your plants. That should do the trick. If you need more help with reducing stress while gardening, here are a few other things that you can do. 1. Consider easy and manageable jobs when deciding what to do in the garden every day. Set realistic objectives that you can achieve within the constraints of your available time and ability. Setting high expectations that are impossible to meet might lead to feelings of dissatisfaction and increased stress. Having said that, simply enjoy what you're doing. Don't merely do your garden duties and call it a day. Instead, take some time to revel in the beauty that you are making for yourself. Lastly, you may listen to relaxing tunes while you're out and about tending to your plants. Listening to relaxing music while gardening could be a terrific way to make the experience even more enjoyable for you. Reason number two, it gets your body moving. Exercising in the garden is a great method to shed inches off your waistline. Not only is it enjoyable and relaxing, but there is no need to adhere to a strict diet. As a matter of fact, there are several garden jobs that might help you lose weight. If you are able to burn off more calories than you ingest, weight reduction should be rather straightforward. Believe it or not, manually mowing your lawn may burn up to 300 calories or more in a short period of time. Other yard chores, such as raking and trimming, may burn up to 200 calories per hour or more. Performing even the most basic garden activities such as tilling the soil, digging, planting, and weeding may burn around 200 calories too. Also, exercise aids in the relaxation and improvement of one's overall well-being. It induces the production of endorphins, which are chemicals that make the body feel happy. This release of endorphins may help you in having a more positive attitude in life. Try a couple of these suggestions to get the most out of your gardening. First, consider it a workout. When you are working in the garden, put forth the same amount of effort and excitement that you would at the gym. Don't be scared to stretch some muscles. 
If you approach gardening as a kind of exercise, you will get more cardiovascular benefits. Next, make it a routine. Organize your time and be consistent with it. Make time for gardening every day of the week. Decide how long you will be working. You don't need to work in the garden for extended periods of time in order to get the advantages. Sometimes consistency is the key. So those few minutes that you set aside for gardening every day could go a long way. Lastly, warm up, work out, and cool down. You can also organize your gardening sessions in the same manner that you would a gym workout. Warm up, work out, and cool down are all important steps. Begin by doing some light stretching. After that, you can get some exercise by picking weeds or sowing seedlings. Begin by moving on to more rigorous tasks for the day, such as digging, and then conclude with a stroll around the garden to cool off afterwards. Don't overwork yourself. Before we carry on with the list, what do you think of what we've mentioned so far? Are you ready to garden your way to lower blood pressure? Let us know in the comments section below. Another reason why gardening helps lower your blood pressure is that it provides you with a healthy harvest. Gardeners are more inclined to consume food that they have produced themselves. So if you start gardening, it's more likely that your fruit and vegetable intake will increase too. Here are some of the crops you can grow that can naturally lower your blood pressure. Number one, garlic. Despite the fact that this pungent cousin of the onion originated in Central Asia, garlic has spread around the globe as a delicious method to spice up your food, frighten away the vampires, and you guessed it, keep your blood flowing healthily. It contains a slew of antioxidants and nitric oxide, which operate in the body to relax muscles and widen blood vessels through the dilation of the blood vessels. Allicin is a beneficial component of garlic that has antimicrobial properties as well as the ability to boost blood health. Number two, onion. Because garlic is a member of the onion family, it goes to say that onions have a plethora of health advantages as well. Onions may be found as an ingredient in a wide variety of foods, which means you'll have plenty of opportunity to reap the advantages of onions' nutritious and delectable flavor. Onions include antioxidants that aid in the cleansing of the system and the promotion of healthy blood flow. It also contains quercetin, which is a potent immune booster, allergy reducer, and blood pressure lowering agent. Whether you like the bite of raw onions or prefer a softer cooked version, you can definitely discover new ways to include these vegetables in your diet today. Number three, oregano. If you are aiming to decrease your blood pressure, you should be looking for methods to include oregano into other healthier meals as well. Despite the fact that oregano is a ubiquitous household herb, most of us aren't aware of the health-promoting chemicals that make oregano so beneficial. Carvacrol. Carvacrol is a monoterpenoid phenol that has a wide range of health advantages, including relief from coughs, colds, inflammation, urinary tract infections, headaches, and heart disorders. But what is it about Carvacrol that makes it so excellent for your heart? Well, this compound has a relaxing impact on your heart rate, helping you to keep your blood pressure stable. A little more of this in your system will cause the pressure in your arteries to reduce, your blood flow to revert to a healthy condition, and your heart won't have to work as hard to maintain that pressure. Oregano is a versatile herb that may be used to season a variety of dishes, from pasta to your morning eggs. You can start reaping the advantages right now. Number four, celery. Adding celery to any meal or snack boosts fiber intake while also adding a delicious crunch to the experience. It may also assist you in losing weight while also lowering your blood pressure. Celery has a number of heart-healthy properties, including lowering systolic and diastolic blood pressure. In layman's terms, this means that the heart will be able to pump blood more efficiently through the arteries and into the lungs. Raw celery may be added to salads, mixed with peanut butter and raisins for a delicacy fittingly termed ants on a log, or even added to your favorite soup. Number five, hawthorns. You may be familiar with hawthorns because of their beautiful red berries, but did you know that they may also be beneficial to your heart health? The leaves, flowers, and even pieces of the berries are often included in supplements. Evidence suggests that it is a powerful ally in your battle against heart disease. The hawthorn plant has a high concentration of antioxidants, which when consumed help to strengthen blood vessel walls. 
in addition to providing a slew of additional health advantages ranging from renal health to digestive difficulties and even depression, a substantial body of information indicates that it is a very beneficial herb for heart health. Now that you know how gardening reduces blood pressure, get ready to get your hands dirty and start your own garden. If this video motivated you to start gardening, let us know in the comments section below and engage with our community. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell so you'll get updated for our future uploads. Again, this is Scope Care, and we will see you soon in our next video. Thanks for watching.